Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is still Friday, August 14th, but now it is 10.37 a.m. And I've decided I'm going to go straight to the source. Behold, I come. Well, it's, the site is called I am calling you now dot blogspot dot com. For anyone who cannot see the, um, stuff in the description box. And this is from Julie Wedby. Behold, I come is really the name of her website. That's the title she gives it. And the scripture she uses is Revelation 22.12. Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Hmm. According as his work shall be. All right, now on Monday, August the 10th, this is the word that she put out that she had received on August the 8th. She titles it, The Battle is Raging, My Remnant Warriors Have Prepared for This Day. And this is confirmation of the one I just put up. My word is like fire. It brings together, but it also divides. If the trumpet call can't be discerned, who will prepare for this battle? I tell you, it is my chosen remnant who have prepared. My truth seekers know that I am my word, and my word alone is truth. All else is an illusion. I am the God of truth. I am just and righteous. My word divides the soul from the spirit and is the discerner of every man's heart. I know those who I have chosen that serve me, and I hide them under the shelter of my wing. I am the rock and the saving strength of my anointed you who are called by my name will be strengthened and I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. You will not be shaken and you will not be moved. No weapon formed against you will prosper. You have my power over all the enemy and nothing can hurt you. I will make your way perfect, and I will fasten you as a nail in a sure place. For you will, you, you will be for a glorious throne to me. The one who believes in me, the cornerstone, will never be shaken. I will not take my eye off you, my righteous ones. And I will enthrone you with kings and exalt you forever. To him who has the key of the house of David, what is opened, no one can shut. And what is shut, no one can open. You who overcome are my kings and my priests. And you will reign on the earth as my ambassadors of light. As representatives and my messengers on earth, you will uphold my law and my word will forever be on your lips. I am your light and your salvation. You will not fear anything. I am your stronghold in the day of trouble. Be strong and courageous as I will always go with you. I have trained your hands for the battle. This fight is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. I have taught your hands to war and your fingers to fight but not with a sword or a spear. Not by might nor by power will I slay them, but by my spirit, 
mighty exploits will you do in my name. I don't know how many times this week I have seen that word, mighty exploits will you do in my name. Your enemy will know my victory by my hand through you, my chosen instruments, declaring my word, my sword of truth. All who have ears to hear will be sanctified by this truth. So blow the trumpet in Zion, my watchmen and my children. Sound an alarm in my holy mountain. The day of the Lord is at hand. Your bow is renewed by my hand. You are my war club and weapon for this battle. With you I will shatter nations and bring kingdoms to ruin. A fire will devour before you. And behind you the flames will burn. You are my chosen, set in battle array, and my camp is great. I will drive out your enemy before you as I give you the command to destroy him. Hot dog! Hallelujah! Oh, I'm ready to kick some demon butt. Let me tell you something. Sorry, I interrupted. Uh, let's see. As I give you the command to destroy him, I will make them eat their own flesh, and they will be drunk on their own blood. Then all will know that I, the Lord, am your Savior and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. I will go forth as a mighty man and stir up jealousy like a man of war. I will roar as I prevail over my enemies. I am a warrior, and the Lord is my name. Is there any doubt who this is from? Declare a thing to be, and it shall be so. My word will not return to me void. All will be done according to my word, my chosen remnant. Your gates will always stand open, and the riches of the nations will come to you. You will receive your rightful inheritance. No more will you be oppressed and persecuted once my spirit fully indwells you. Out of you will flow rivers of living water. You will turn hearts to me, and I will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before the nations. I am coming. I am coming. My Elijah company has prepared the way of the Lord. Be, rejoice, my beloved, for the fulfillment of all things has come. Yahushua. As I was writing this message, the Holy Spirit instructed me to then take his message and write a prayer that we as the overcomers can recite as a declaration Hallelujah, for he is the word and the only truth that can be found. Thank you, dear Holy King Yehoshua. We adore you. Amen and amen. Amen. We adore you, Lord. We praise you. We give you thanks, praise, glory, and honor this day. We thank you, O Lord. There are also two more prayers that confirm this message below the list of scriptures. Okay, so I'm going to read the prayer, the cry of the remnant prayer. But the rest, you can come to the link at IamCallingYouNow.blogspot.com and you can read all the scriptures, which you should, and look them up, and then the prayers below it. Your word, Yahushua, is like fire. Your word alone is truth. Your trumpet has sounded, and I have prepared. Please allow your Holy Spirit fire to burn away anything left in me that is unclean or not in alignment with your holy will for me. You alone 
are the God of truth, righteousness, and justice. I have chosen to serve you with all my heart, all my soul, all my mind, and all my strength. Hide me under the shelter of your wing, because you are my rock and my saving strength. You answer when I call you, and you strengthen me. You uphold me with the right hand of your righteousness, and I will not be shaken or moved. No weapon formed against me will prosper. You have given me your power over all the enemy. You are my cornerstone, and I will not take my eyes off you. You have the key to the house of David, and what you have opened, no one can shut. And what you have shut, no one can open. Your way is perfect, and you have fastened me as a nail in a sure place. I will be a glorious throne to you. I am your ambassador of light, and you will make me a king, a priest on the earth. That's going to be in the thousand-year millennial reign, when we'll be kings and priests on the earth. I'm just throwing that in to, so you'll understand if you didn't know that already. You should know it already, but anyway, I'll move on. You are my light and my salvation, and I will not fear you are my stronghold in the day of trouble. And I will be strong and courageous because you always go with me wherever I go. You have trained my hands for the spiritual battle and my fingers to war. It is not by power or might, but by your spirit that the enemy will know his defeat. I will do Great and mighty exploits in your name. I am your chosen instrument. And all that have ears to hear will be sanctified by your truth manifested in and through me. I am blowing the trumpet and sounding the alarm this day. The day of the Lord is upon us. My bow is renewed by your hand, and I am your weapon of war for battle. Because of your presence in me, I will shatter nations and will bring kingdoms to ruin. A fire will go before me, and a flame will burn behind me, for your camp is great. I will destroy the enemy before me with your command. Then all will know that you are the Lord, my Savior and Redeemer, the Holy One of Jacob. You will roar as a warrior and prevail over your enemies, the Lion of Judah, the Lord of hosts is your name. I declare all you instruct me to declare. And your word does not return to you void. You will cause my gates to stay open. And the riches of nations will come to me. I will receive my rightful inheritance. I will never be persecuted or oppressed again. Hallelujah. Say praise the Lord brothers and sisters. Out of me will flow rivers of your living water. I will turn hearts to you, and righteousness and praise will spring forth before the nations. You are coming. You are coming. Prepare the way of the Lord. Come, precious Mashiach, Yahushua. Amen and amen. And she's got Jeremiah twenty three twenty nine King James Version. Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? There's a lot of scriptures here, a lot, which I could, 
I mean, I could pick them out as I was reading it. It's amazing how, how the Lord does that. And then, let's see. Yeah, there's all of Isaiah 61. And then there's Hannah's prayer and praying for the nations. So, and then you can move on down and keep reading more prophecies that she has received. And I hope that this blessed you. I pray that it blessed you this day. It is so encouraging. Brothers and sisters, we are on the verge of going outside of time, being raptured up, getting our instructions, and coming back to be the harvest army for the Lord. There is a message on here that I've got to find. Kathy read it a day or two ago, and it was from May, I believe. And it spoke of this first group going as the barley harvest. And then he called us, uh, when we come back and we harvest the weed, he called it the weed harvest. And I thought, oh, yay, hallelujah. I've never heard anybody else say barley harvest and wheat harvest except what he gave me in 16, 2016, the message that's on my home page about the two raptures. He called them the barley harvest and the wheat harvest. And when she read that prophecy from Julie, from the Lord, I was like, I was just like, ah, you know, I was just so happy because I've gotten so much flack from people about there's not two raptures or some would even say there's no rapture much less two you know the mockers and the scoffers you know and so when you get confirmation like that it just thrills your heart to know that yes for sure you heard that from the lord because the rest of the message was so spot on so i am going to find that little brothers and sisters and i'm going to share that with you as soon as i can find it but i'm going to go to brighteon.com right now and see if there it seems like there was one i wanted to share with you that i will just play out and if this comes on in it i will pause it fast forward through this and then pick up from there okay all right um i plead the blood of jesus over this video over myself my computer because it's been giving me troubles and satan's been trying to mess with it i'm telling y'all just blacks out no numbers just blacks out and it doesn't want to come back on. And But I hear, like when I'm on live stream with the Team Jesus, it'll just blacken out. So I can't see the screen that she's showing, whatever she's sharing, or whoever's talking. That part doesn't really matter. I can still hear it. I just can't see it. And uh, one time it just blacked out completely. And I was in the middle of saying something. And it just blacked out. And it does, and then I'll, I'll shut the thing, I'll shut the lid, or the top down, whatever. Pick it back up, and hit space bar, or enter, or something. And it'll come back on. But I'll be pleading the blood of Jesus, and rebuking Satan in the meanwhile, and then it'll start working. So I know Satan's messing with my computer. Or, you know, can it be that old? It's only three years, it's going in three years. Or did it just turn three years? Gosh, I don't know. Time flies. Time really, really flies. I just bought my third year of web support. So I guess it's two years old? Because you buy the first year when you get it new. Yeah, it's fixing to... Yeah, it's two years old. It's not old. That's not old. I mean, it shouldn't be doing that. Anyway, I'll let you go for now and I'll talk to you later.